Yeah, I wanted to put the um, Power Zapper My Zapper on a uh, analog scope just to show you what kind of output I'm getting out of it. Now, what I'm using is these uh, Power X paintball batteries. They're actually a hair higher than the standard 9 volts or 9.6 volts. But they actually put out, actually, a standard alkaline Duracell will put out about 10 to 10.2 volts, even though it's rated at 9. If you actually check the voltage on a brand new Duracell, there or uh, alkal alkalizer or whatever energizer, or whatever you call those, um, they are about they're a little higher. They're about a volt higher when they're brand new. If you're getting the best ones, so this will actually put out. Well, this will probably put out about 10 volts or right around what a, what a Duracell does. And that's the reason why I use these type of rechargeables because they are just as good as door cells or energizers, yet they're rechargeable. Other rechargeable batteries aren't. So this unit has uh, 12 modes, but you know a lot of the modes are like the last three modes are one frequency each. Now I, I have this set to go with the last frequency because you can start it on the last frequency. I have the timer set to 10 minutes and 20 seconds versus the standard. 7 minutes and 37 seconds. I have a timer set a little longer per frequency. But I wanted to show you something on a scope because now I have it zeroed out. You can see it's right on zero. Let's turn the unit on. Now I have this set where it's actually at 4 hertz. And you can see it's uh, pretty slow. Yeah, that's, i got to slow it down. That's on 4 hertz. And, but you can see it's doing 10 volts. Now I'm going to go over to the next mode so you can see, because this scope is not really designed for this really super low stuff. It's like more like 15 hertz or 10 hertz and above, but you can pretty much see what's going on in the lower um, hertz. But let's just change the cycle. Now we're on mode 1. Now let's change this back. And... You could see, let's do it like that. If you can look here very carefully on this line, it's actually, hopefully I can make that clear. If that's more clear. But you can see the line, the green line, is actually visibly above the zero line. Why is that? Why is that? Because it's actually using pedestal offset not just positive offset, it's actually using pedestal offset which is better than positive offset. It's not going to go on zero no matter how much load you put this on, no matter how you know if you're using four point contact system, three points positive and it's under load, it's not going to dip below zero period. Now look at the voltage. It's about 10.1 volts 10.1 volts and that's because I'm using these type of batteries. Well, I don't know. I mean, if you had a brand, if you had a brand new door cell, they're about 10 or 10.2 volts. Actually, if you measure them on a voltmeter, they're they're actually higher voltage. If depends on what brand you get, like door cell and Energizer, and I think Rayovac might be pretty much up there too. But I know like the door cells and the Energizers, they're usually about 10 or 10.2 volts. But these rechargeable batteries will put out about the same thing as a brand new high quality um, alkaline battery. So you actually are getting just a hair over 10 volts on this puppy. So let's change the modes. Just hit the mode button. See, in other words, the mode is that that was on 72 hertz. So if you look at Rife Mode 1B, I'm going to click the button once here. It's going to go to 786 hertz. So if I click the button once, it's 786 hertz. Let's change the scale. And you can see it's putting about 10.1 volts. And it has an obvious pedestal offset. How's that? How's that? You know, and then again, if we want to go to uh, the next mode, let's see what we got for the next mode. I don't know what it would be. 500. Well, let's let's bring it up a couple so it makes it a little more obvious. Yeah. 
All right, so let's say we go to th mode three. Mode three will be 20 hertz on the first part of mode three. So click this once. Double, double beep is the first half of mode two. Click it again. Double beep is the second half of mode two. Now to go to first half of mode three will be three beeps. Click it again. Okay. Mode three. Let's change the scale. See? We're on 20 hertz. How's that? How's that? So, and if you want to go, see, this thing's got a lot of frequencies in it because, um, you know, it's astronomically. I mean, as you're using it, you're going to be highly impressed because it's like I actually have to refer to the chart to remember, um, you know, what it, all the frequencies are. But it does give you an outline which are antifungal, which are antibacterial, which are antiviral, which are main right frequencies, what's the Clark mode, and all that type of stuff. So if we go to the second half of mode three, it'll start at 787. So it beeps three times again. So you can see that scale it changed. It's a much higher frequency. So we've got to change our scale. But again, obvious never not going anywhere near zero. That's a pedestal offset and it's going up to 10.1 volts. Very good, very good power, very good power. Um, but you know, one thing I liked about was uh, if I look down here, ooh, let's see, it was on mode, uh, I think it was right here, mode 8, the Clark mode, and that's where all the lights, the indicator lights are off, that shows you that you're in the Clark mode. It actually will hit... Um, 97% of the Clark listed frequencies with harmonics. And I think Clark pretty much covered everything. I was using that one yesterday. I was actually using it not on 7 minutes, but actually the 10 minute setting, which is actually 10 minutes and 20 seconds. So I ran through 14 frequencies on that. And I have been using this device extensively. It's, it's fantastic. But it does have very, very good output very good output so just want to show you on the scope itself you know usually when you see a positive offset it's not showing that much of, of clearly above zero this is actually pedestal offset uh, the ones that have pedestal offset I think are the my zapper by power zapper and Uzi 3 and the Uzi 3 so anyway uh, I just figured I post this because uh, the more I'm using this uh, zapper, the more I'm liking it, and it's uh, it's pretty damn versatile, and it's got pretty much everything in there, plus the kitchen sink, as they say, right? And uh, very easy to use, very very easy to use, very small, very easy to use. You see, you know, this is this is held into my hand, right? It's like picking up a cell phone, and there's other handhelds, and uh, very compact unit. Anyway, and uh, you can tell how much conductivity you have by actually looking at this light here, this yellow light, because as you put this under a little bit of a load, this load, this light will turn a little more orange, especially on the higher frequencies, which you cannot feel sometimes, and you're wondering, is it connected, is it connected, is it going through the body? Well, this light, like if I touch, yeah, let's see, if I... I don't know if I could do that. Maybe not. If you touch this briefly together, you're not supposed to short them out. But basically, that's what happens when you're going through the body, when you're making a connection and there's electricity actually going through the body. This yellow light will turn more like an orange color or look, get a little more red. That's telling you you have a connection. So sometimes when the higher frequencies and they're up around, 2,000 or more, you really can't feel them that well. This this light will tell you what's going on. This yellow light, it'll start to get a little more orange or red if you have good conduct conductivity through the body. So in other words, these paper towels that have wrapped around the copper handhelds, what you want to do is actually wet those good with uh, saline solution or even Epsom salt.
you know, like a little Epson saw on them, so they work very well. So anyway, I figured I'd put this out because I was interested in myself. You know, when I was looking at the other zappers, um, I didn't really see, you know, obviously above zero the way this one is. This this does have the pedestal offset, which is uh, unique to Power Zapper, and uh, that's another ex excellent feature because uh, as Holder, well, Holder Clark's claims are that you don't want to go below zero because that helps the microbes. It helps the bad stuff. You want to have all 100% positive offset. But combining that with the exact, right, correct, rife frequencies, well, let's not say they're rife, they're John Crane frequencies maybe, rife's assistant. Because actually, these are the frequencies. Rife did not use these frequencies. Yeah, they call them, I mean, everywhere they're called rife frequencies. But Royal Rife did not use these, actually, these actual frequencies. He used a much higher frequency, but these are main, most of these are derived from the higher frequencies by using uh, a division of those, of the higher frequencies, and that's why they still are pretty effective. Um, but they were, uh, they were actually per John Crane's work when he was using, he was developing the pad type uh, Rife machines, quote unquote because they could not use radio waves anymore because of the FCC. But that doesn't mean these don't work. I don't want to say how good they work or not because I'm, I'm not a doctor, but I'm just saying it's not, you know, sometimes there's confusion as to is this rife or is this not rife. It's a derivative of rife. It's the commonly known frequencies, the, the ones that are most people have tested the most and that's what's incorporated in this device. So if it works for you, great. If it doesn't work for you, you know, um, I mean, it's not something that I know is going to work for absolutely certain because the body is complicated. And But the thing is, when you're using these frequencies, they have to be dead on accurate. If they're off several hertz, they're not going to work. And this is flat out the only zapper on the planet that is accurate enough to meet Rife's criteria of being within a half of a tenth of one percent of the mortal oscillatory rate of the microbe. So, you know, if, if this doesn't work, nothing works, okay? How about that? I mean, maybe I, I can make that statement. If this puppy isn't going to help you, no other zapper will. <laughs> I mean, that's, I mean, maybe that's a fair statement to make. All right, so anyway, but at least we know it has very, very, very good output, 10.1 volts, and it looks like it has a true, excellent pedestal offset as advertised. 